Hello and welcome back to Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project. In the previous session I showed you how the principle of a moving stator can be utilized to make repeated revolutions of the magnet wheel. Now in this session I'll show you other methods that can be used to achieve that rotation. And these will also be moving stator applications. Now first, before I get started with the demonstrations, I'm going to um, reconfigure the magnets, the groups that is, I have four groups of magnets around the wheel and presently they're all oriented with north side facing up. Now what I will be doing is to uh, rearrange the second and the fourth groups so that they are south facing up. And I'll show you exactly um, how this is done on the uh, steel bicycle wheel. I'll take the starting group and move them along on their merry way. Now I come to the second group and uh, I don't know if you can see it from your angle or not, but this is also a north facing up group. And I'm going to alter this now so that we'll have all south facing magnets in this group. Now the easiest way to do that is to take out at least uh, one of the magnets before you get started and then slide the second one off the wheel see they slide off nice and easy you flip the magnet over bring it up to the wheel rim drop it into position and I'll slide that over right against my uh, marker. Okay. I'll continue to do that with the next magnet. Slide that one into position. And the next. They slide quite easily on the uh, chrome plated steel wheel. And the nice thing is you can rearrange these magnets any way you want. You don't have to glue them down like in uh, Milo's project which uses an aluminum rotor. Uh, let's see, okay. Uh, make sure this magnet is in. I'll check all the magnets here and make sure they're in the correct orientation. Okay, the last one, I didn't change that one yet. That's still south. So that's fixed now. Now they should all they should all attract this uh, magnet if they're all in the same orientation. And you can see they are attracting. Uh, this one doesn't attract; it repels. You see, this is south facing up. And this is north facing up. So when the two sides come together, we have a north and a north. That's the repelling action, see? So I want it to be in the same uh, south orientation as the other magnets here. I'll put that in place. Now I'll take this other uh, north, oh, excuse me, take out this. <laughs> these, these are very, tricky. If you get them too close, they'll pull together. Now, I'll take the uh, 
north magnet and I'll replace that with a south magnet that is it's it's marked south it could be south or north uh, either way I want to flip it over but I want to use it in the south mode now so these are all the same all these magnets are facing south and I'll continue and now we have north you see at the starting position we have north and we go to south and we go to north again and uh, here's another north group. I've, I need to change this to south. Uh, I won't show you doing that because I've already shown how it's done. I'll pause the camera for a moment and uh, then I'll show you after I have it completed. Okay, I have the arrangement all set up now. The groups are separated into north, south, north, south, in an alternating manner. Now what I'd like to show you is um, a demonstration of how the um, hard drive magnet is actually magnetized. I'm holding a um, compass in my left hand. This is an or orienteer's compass used for hiking and whatnot but it works quite well it's got a liquid filled interior and I'm going to bring the hard drive magnet near to it with the south pole closest and you can see south and south made up now as I turn the hard drive magnet to north the north arrow comes right around in between, we've got the um, equilibrium effect, which is pretty much uh, right in between the two. Okay. North, south. North, south. So that's how that works. The, um, again, the north and south are like this. This is the position I was holding the magnet in. Uh, over the rotor for the previous experiments. And this time I'll be turning the magnet uh, sideways like this so it's facing across the rotor. Uh, the rotor is nothing more than the wheel rim actually and um, I'll show you how this works. I'm zoomed in presently to show you the starting point, the north facing group, and as I rotate further ahead, I have a south group, a north group, and the other south group, four groups of magnets. I still have the same spacing, 5 eighths inch between my magnets. And we're back to the starting point. Now I also want to show you that the um, magnet groups are lining up the way that I said. And I'm not trying to fool anybody. Uh, I think you can see the pointer is at north right now at the starting point. And uh, we go through the first group, the second group spins it around to south, back to north, and then back to south again at the last group. And here we are back at the starting position. You can see it rotates back to north, pointing north again with the compass. So there you have it.